Hello, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I'm here with a video which is going to serve a couple of different purposes. The first purpose is it's a VR. So I've got my notes down here because otherwise, you know what I'm like, I forget everything. So this VR is for lovely Angie and you will find her channel and the challenge video both linked in the description box to this video. So this is our 800 subbies challenge. Um, if you haven't checked out MJ's channel before, it's Crafty Little Things and you definitely should. She's such a talented crafter. She doesn't just do paper crafts, but she is brilliant at paper crafting. She also does crochet and she shares um, hauls and yeah, it's just a really fun um, channel. So you should definitely check it out. This, as I say, it's our 800 subbies um, challenge. You've got until the 27th of May to get your entry to her. She is looking for an ATC. Any style, um, your own style, whatever you would like to make. Um, and also a card for her daughter who is graduating. So the ATC, I'm sure everybody has made an ATC or knows what one is. But if you don't, it's like a little kind of work of art. Um, it measures two and a half by three and a half inches and you can do it anything that you would like so you could use stamps and die cuts you could use inks you could use um, paints you could use um, prints that you've done on a jelly plate you could use embossing you could do collage you could use um, stickers, you could use napkins, you can use book pages, you can freestyle draw or doodle or zentangle. Um, you could do mixed media. I must have said everything now. I mean, I won't have said everything, but as much as I could think of anyway. Um, so send her one of those and a graduation card for lovely Lily um, and I think that's really nice because if you're a student nowadays well graduating then you'll have been studying throughout the pandemic and probably missed out on quite a lot of um, of the, the fun things that go along with student life um, so I hope graduation is extra special to kind of catch up on some of those celebrations along the way is that everything I need to say? I think, I mean, I'm sure I'll have missed important information out because, hello, I'm me. Um, so check out MG's video below. You'll find everything you need to know in there. So that's the first, the first part of my um, video. The second part is that this is my kind of entry or I'm joining in with the hashtag one sketch challenge 23. I think that's what it's called. If the hashtag in my title of my video was different, then I got it wrong. That'll be the right one. Now, this is a collab that lovely Lisa at Crafting Diva has been doing for quite a few months. And several times I've said, oh, yes, I'm going to join in. That looks great. And then... I haven't. So this morning I saw that the latest sketch was out I think like two days ago so I've done it and this video is made and then I'll upload it in a few days time and hopefully MG has received her package. So um, check I'll, in the description box below you'll also find Lisa's channel Crafting Diva and the video for the sketch which I'm going to show you my card for because I haven't got the sketch. Lisa's got the sketch. So the idea is that um, if you're kind of a bit stumped as to how to compose your card, maybe you know that you want to use, like I knew I wanted to use this owl die set and make a little graduation owl. Um, but when I saw the, the video for the sketch I thought, oh I'm just going to use that. I used to use card sketches all the time and I've not done it for ages but they're really good for that. Now, what I also have which makes it easy is I decided I was going to do a kind of purpley shades. Now, you know me, I'm always trying to get organised. I mean, 
on my deathbed I'll probably still be trying to get organised but anyway I just bought these really cheap zippy kind of pockets I think I bought a big pack of them on eBay um, this is my purple one that I used so I just put I had I still have massive piles of cards and papers that I've used some of so if I've used some of a sheet and if I remember then I file them away in here so when I'm looking for something by colour scheme it's easy so what I did was I just pulled this out and picked a few different patterns of um, papers that um, I thought kind of worked in together and worked in with my theme with the little owly and so yeah super easy so um, I I'm going to stop here. I'm going to insert a little video that I made of me colouring in my owl after I die cut all the pieces um, and putting it together. And then I will be back and show you the card. So, fingers crossed, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hello, by the magic of um, me not making a mess, hopefully you've just seen me doing a little um, colour again. So I just wanted to, um, I do have, I have lots of coloured cardstock, but you know when you want a wee bit of shading and things and I thought I'm just going to cut it all out of white, apart from the cap I cut out of um, Centura Pearl in black, but I cut everything else out in white and then I coloured it in. Um, so you can get a wee bit of shading and you have, well, as much choice as you have of pens to create um, what you would like, the colour scheme you would like. So this is my finished card. So as I said, I used some different papers from that pocket. The only thing I used from my kind of new sheets of card was I took a, a sheet of purple and I used a little scrap of a sort of, um, I don't know what you call that, it's like mirror but it's not actually reflective, it's like a sort of matte mirror, that's not really a thing is it, but um, so yeah, so that is my little owl, so I coloured in the owl, I just freehand cut a little branch um, and then because it's freehand it's not really very perfect. So on my desk I've got lots of little bits of scrappy bits from previous projects and I had these wee flowers so I've just popped them on with a wee nouveau drop in the middle. Um, and yeah and some these are some nouveau drops um, at the bottom there because that's part of the sketch was to have sort of three little circles or dots or something at the bottom so i hope that this is like the sketch enough um and i hope that lily and um mg like my card so i will get this sent off today <clears throat> and then once it's been received i'll get this put up um on my channel so yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed my video today, please say hello in the comments. Um, hit like if you have enjoyed it. And if I'm new to you, why not hit subscribe? I am quite regular with crafting videos. Every now and again, I have a, like a week or so off. Um, but yeah, I tend to make a few videos each week, uh, most weeks. So yes, I hope that I will see you back here soon. Thanks so much for watching and take care. Bye now.